Hey everybody, it's Clean Jelly and welcome back to the Toy Box. So today, yes, I am showing you my beautiful face. I got all dressed up to go out and then um, uh, dolls decided to change my plans. <laughs> um, this is actually a video that um, I literally am trying to record, edit, and put up the same day. Um, except there's kind of two parts to it. One of them will go up when it's its time. The other one's going to go up today because... Um, I went to a Goodwill near my house, and I didn't really find a lot for dolls. Um, I was able to find a, um, a Monster High purse, um, that needs some love, and an Elsa doll that also needs some love. Um, but other than that, I wasn't really too fond of what I found at the Goodwill, so I decided that I was going to run to the Target that was nearby, and, um... They had a fierce doll. And now this is being recorded on July 2nd, I think. I think this is the 2nd. Either way, these aren't supposed to come out till the 7th. So these are out early. So I decided to go ahead and get her. Um, and I was able to actually check out for her at the Target because I know sometimes people have had issues with that. Um, but I was able to find her and check out with her. So I decided I wanted to get her a video up right away um, so that you guys could see if it was something that you were interested in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera the other way so that we can uh, get into reviewing her. And I also bought Lady Diva so we can do kind of a side-by-side. -side. So Lady Diva regular size is going to be going up as her own video. Um, I don't know when that one's going to go up. It'll probably just go into my, like, um, to like air later videos um but this one is going to go up right away and it actually means i'm going to be posting twice this week um usually my goal is to only post once a week um just because i need to spread out all the dolls that i have except i keep somehow managing to get more dolls so i don't know but anyway i'm sure i've been talking for two minutes so i'm sure you guys want to get onto the doll so let's go ahead because i also really want to get onto the doll All right, so I just filmed a super, super quick review of our regular size Lady Diva here, and now it's on to our OMG Fierce Queen ecstatic noises. Ah! So I do have a little thing to point out before we get her open. She does have a smudge on her nose. There were two Lady Divas in the store, and they both had smudges on their nose. Hers was smaller. Hopefully we can get it off. But even if we can't, that's the price I'm willing to pay to get this doll in my hand and not have to worry about getting her on launch day or afterwards. So I'm okay with that. Um, now, also, I do have to be honest. Originally, I wanted Neonlicious. I was kind of between Lady Diva and Neonlicious, but I liked Neonlicious's smaller doll better, so I wanted that one. And I liked the little band-aid that was on her nose but I told myself I could get one of them at full price and wait for the other ones to go on sale and Lady Fierce is the one that came into my life so here we are we're going to open her look at this stunning artwork oh it's so pretty I don't know what I'm going to do with it but I'm definitely going to keep this I need something to do with this now these dolls retail at $37 or $36.99 so they are a little bit more expensive, um, and I do feel like they are aimed at the collectors. Like, look at this box. It's a nice, beautiful, custom, like, type display box. It has our name sign down here. Like, this is so beautiful. If I was an inbox collector, I would be ecstatic with this, okay? I... Like I said, I'm glad that we're kind of going towards more open packaging. I said it on some of my other videos that have the open packaging that you can see those dolls. Make sure you get a good one. But, like, this specifically, this shape is a really nice, like, collector box. So we have LOL Surprise, OMG, Outrageous Millennial Girls, Fierce. So they're not being called anything, like, different as far as, like, the OMG. They're still OMGs, but they're Fierce instead of just OMGs. Um... Now, on the back here, it says Fierce, make it fearless, fashion, fierce. And then back here is her 
another stunning image of her with these sunglasses, which I'm assuming we're going to get in here. So there is a compartment down here that has her surprises in it. So if you are keeping her in box, you don't need to open this part here. But if you're taking her out, don't forget to open this part down here. Again, has her signature and then has the other girls down here below her. So let's pop this side open. Very gently, very delicately, because I don't want to ruin her beautiful box. All right, so down here is going to be her hairbrush, it looks like. So her hairbrush is going to be the same color as her original launch hairbrush, it looks like. Or at least the re-release of the original launch the one I have so they both have the same hairbrush and then here we um, each of the dolls is going to be coming with their own poster so on the one side it's going to have all four dolls and say lol omg fierce and then on the other side it's going to be a poster of the individual doll so it says make it darling make it dazzling Make it drama, Lady Diva. I definitely am going to need to find a place to hang this up. Because this is... Ah! Stunning! And it's the same art that's on the back of her box here. So even though we open that up, we still get to keep a version of it. So that's fun. Because then that makes it easier for me. I don't have to worry about trying to keep this intact. Because I had to open it up to get that. So you kind of get that recovery of getting that poster inside, which is super cool. And then down here, we should have her last surprise, which should be her sunnies. So I like that they still kind of worked in some surprises along with the box. And then so we have our sunnies and we have an earring, which is interesting because I'm pretty sure the doll is already wearing earrings. But we have this earring that is a snake that kind of matches the style of her original snake earrings. So I think she has one snake on and one not snake so maybe this is so you that you can make it two snakes on it oh no way that's a headphones she's wearing headphones right now that go into her earring hole so if you take her headphones off she has the other earring i'm sorry but wow i'm so happy right now that's so stunning because she's supposed to be a diva. So in this upgraded version of her, they made her actually like a diva with headphones, but they still gave her the earrings. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. So now that that's open, we're going to open this up. Now this does something that I've seen um, dolls do when I was a kid. The bottom of her box is actually her stand. So instead of her stand being in there too, her whole stand is in, like, that's how it's boxed is around the stand. Um, by the way, I just want to give you a quick view of the UPC just in case you guys need it to scan at the targets, which I have done several times. I also did it today with a doll that I know is coming out and I found out it's cheaper than I thought it was going to be and I'm so excited! Um, because that means I might actually be able to get more than one in that set that's coming out where originally I thought I was going to have to only get one so I'm very excited about that hopefully that we will get more news on those soon or they will just start showing up like these did which would be amazing which means I have to stock my target now which is not great for my wallet so what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting the tape around the top of her doll box See if I can slide her out the top. Ugh, so much tape. Let's see. Just, yes. Ta da. And here she is. Ugh, in all her glory. And then here's some her instructional booklet. Um, showing you putting her shoes on which are these glorious boots that we'll cover over in a moment and that you can remove their hands just make sure you grab them from around the wrist and not by the ankle or not by the fingertips looks like that's all that's in her instruction book um 
I was, wasn't sure if that was on purpose or not, but apparently it is because it's tacked down that her one boot is slapped down. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not worried about it right now. When I when I'm when I'm done with this review, I will see if I can get that smudge off of her nose. I'm just gonna snip these from the back, which is nice because for once I can actually snip them from the back and not have to worry about cutting her hair. All right, and then we're gonna disconnect her stand from the back here, which again, this packaging is just so like so well designed i'm really really shocked with it um so on the back she has her stand here and it goes into the stand here at the bottom and then on the bottom we have that extra waist hugger that they come with um i'm assuming they only come with one size this time since they um don't come with secondary outfits now we will um Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to get this out. So it looks like I have to take... So, okay, so the stand is... Let me... Her, how about we do this? Okay, there we go. So the stand is taped into the bottom of the plastic. So if we just... Cut that. Then this can pop right out of the bottom. Pull this off the top of the stand... And then there we go. And then here is her waist hugger. So I think we only have one waist hugger this time. I don't think there's one on her body already, but that's fine. We don't need an extra um, because this is, again, more of a collector piece, one that's more intended to sit on the shelf and less intended to um, be played with. Looks like her... I'm going to try and leave that rubber band on her because it's kind of... So her purse is rubber banded to the box, but it's also was rubber banded to her hand. Um, but see, they have this plastic loop here. So you either have to untape or cut the plastic loop or cut the rubber band. So I have plenty of rubber bands for right now. We're going to cut the rubber band and I can always rubber band it back to her hand. Because again, I have tons of rubber bands because I always save them for my dolls when I can because this kind of stuff happens. Sorry, I keep getting text messages and I'm trying to read them while I'm filming, but obviously filming and getting this out into the world is more important right now. I don't want to cut her beautiful boa. We have this waist clip right here and oh, just around her ankles. Oh yes, stunning. Okay, now she's finally freed 10 minutes later. Oh, she's everything. Okay, the fates have decided and they were correct when they decided that I needed Fierce. Or Lady Diva. Why do I keep calling her Fierce? That's Fierce. This is Lady Diva. All right, so she has the same yellowy green hair that um, regular Lady Diva has, but she has three... No, four ponytails. So she has two backs and two top ponytails. Let's see. Uh, she's not superly duperly rooted, but that's okay because I'm not taking this hair down. And it has more than enough hair to cover it. It even has the hair just like the original hair wrapped around the, the ties. So that you just see hair and you don't see any ties, which is super cute. And then look at these bangs. Which, these are so much cleaner than the poodle bangs. Don't get me wrong, I love poodle bangs, but they do tend to eventually, as you can kind of see, some of the curls start to uncurl. So I really like these swooped back bangs that are double tied back. They kind of continue the aesthetic. And she has little painted on baby hairs, which are adorable. Um, and then we come down to, she has the same kind of pink eyes, but they're going to have a little bit more of a gradient here. So a pink to a purple. And then again, she has even more detailing in her eyes. So she has that same blue with a lot more detail. And then look at her lips. They're slightly parted. You see a little bit of her teeth because she's singing. Ugh. Look at this headphone. And it has this like rock motif to it. But like I said, it just pops out of the ear hole here. And then you can put in her earring. But this, have this as a 
earring type thing is brilliant because you know what usually happens when you have headphones? They don't ever sit on the doll's heads properly. So having this is just a step above. And then it literally, it clips on there so nice. Like look at the, the back of it and everything. It clips all the way around her ear. Oh, gorgeous. All right, and then we come down here, and instead of having a choker, she has a beautiful pink necklace that matches that stunning pink in her um, headphone here. And then instead of having a pink jacket, she has a pink stole that does keep flopping off, but again, I'll just grab some rubber bands and attach that to her. Um, I do kind of wish that they had gone the route of putting the rubber bands on the inside like some dolls had, but that's okay. We'll figure out a way to attach it. But and so it's the same pink color and the same furry material it's just going to be in that stole instead of in the jacket and then we come down to the shirt so she has um still I think that is still supposed to be kind of the snake print to match the original snake print top but then she has a beautiful one sleeve undershirt that's going to be this cheetah print that matches the skirt of the original dress and then on the other hand she has a elbow length glove here um it does not go around her fingers, but it does come all the way down to the top of her hand. It just isn't fitting quite right because of her purse dangling off. So she has this small snakeskin purse, which is quite different than her original purse. So she has this small snakeskin skin purse. This is LOL OMG. Her original purse was a much larger cheetah print purse. So that's a different, and it was white originally and is now pink. And then we come down to her uh, belt, which in the original, it just said Diva across it. But now in this one, it says Lady Diva. So she upgraded to her full name. And then we see down here, she has a black pleather skirt. Um, I don't know if it's really, it's, it's a very stretchy material. I don't know if it's really pleather or not. Um, but it's very stretchy. And it has still has that cheetah print on it in that stretch material. And it has those silver um, ties up and down the side. Of course, they're not real, but they are actually, like, on there nice. They're not just um, printed on. They are actually, like, embroidered on. And they have the fake little ties at the bottom. Now, I just accidentally knocked her belt off. And apparently, all of these, so the letters, can come off. So they're just hooked on there. So if you didn't like them, which I don't know why you wouldn't, you could take them right off or just hook them back on or put them in weird co combinations if you wanted to. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know what's up with my throat, probably just because I'm talking so much. All right, and then we come down to her boots. So originally she did have these knee high pink boots and now she has these gorgeous thigh high pink boots with the black interior that can be flopped over or can sit standing up on her legs. I kind of like them up higher on the legs where they literally go all the way up to the skirt. We continue with that motif from the skirt of those ties all the way down the back of this beautiful pink. And then down here, instead of having the thin heel, she has a no heel shoe, kind of very Lady Gaga-esque, with these spiked coming back up from the heels, which is a very interesting touch that I don't think I've ever seen before. I like that. So no heel, but a spike coming back up towards the heel. It does have those flatter bottoms to make her a little bit more sturdy. And she has the same bright neon pink with the snakeskin pattern for those little boots. And the little boots do appear to only go to about halfway up. We're going to take off this upper... Um, this whole thing here so that we can see the boot. So this just slides off and should be able to come all down because I want to show you what's underneath her. So there is the boot. It is about an ankle high boot with this beautiful V cut. I love that cut. And these chains that continue that like chain motif around it. And then this can just slide off of her leg. Now, when you put it back on, you want to make sure you put the boot back on first. But yes, this is what I want to show you. She's articulated in the ankle. Not a whole lot, but it can rotate and move just a little bit. 
but enough to help with some posing, and then their knees are fully articulated. So uh, the original regular dolls, they usually have the snap knees, which I'm always... There we go. I got it to pop. I'm always very hesitant with because as a kid, I always thought I broke my dolls when I did that, so I was always very scared by that. But this has real articulation in the ankles. Well, kind of real articulation in the ankles, but definitely real articulation in the knees, like a rainbow high or, you know, a Barbie. And then she has the side by or up and down movement and a little bit of side to side movement here. Her wrists are articulated, her elbows are articulated, and her shoulders are articulated. So most of this upper articulation is the same as a regular LOL, but they added the knee and ankle articulations to the Fierce Dolls, which again continues to add on to my belief that these are more designed as collector dolls um, than the regular series ones are. And then she has her little snake earring here on the side, which matches that snake earring that we saw earlier, so that she can have it on either side. Now, I do believe that that scuff on her nose comes from her thing, even though it doesn't really reach it. I feel like somewhere in packaging, like, that scuff comes from her microphone, which is why both of them had it on there. But I'm not sure. And, like, even in this video, you can hardly see the scuff. You can see it more in person, but that's okay. Like I said, it's a price I'm willing to pay, and I will probably even do my best to get it to come off. So we're going to put that belt back on her. Which, it doesn't appear to have any closures or anything, so you do have to be careful with it if you are playing with her. Especially because these parts on there are loose. Let me get her boot back on so she doesn't look as naked. There's her boot, and her ankle can move a little bit while it's in the boot, which is super cool. And then we just slide. This should just slide on over it, or is it supposed to go the other way? It's in the instruct. It's the one thing that's in the instruction book, but I couldn't find the English side. Um, okay, so you're supposed to put the shoe into the holster first, and then her leg into the whole thing. So let's try it that way. So if we put the shoe up into here. Oh, that's in backwards because I think the small part, is it? No, it's correct. The small part is supposed to be the toes. Yeah, because this is the back of her leg. So that's her heel. So that goes in the back. So you push that in and it has this little plastic stirrup at the bottom that you just slide over. Ta-da! And then now, it's essentially one big shoe, kind of like the Rainbow High twins have, where the, um, one of them has it, uh, where it's like a whole boot that has a fabric top. And then you just slide it on in like a regular shoe, just kind of jimmy her foot into that at the bottom. Come on. It's probably easier if you're not doing it through a screen. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Boop! And it's now back on. So there she is. And then here are her sunnies that look like dripping jewels. And you can even actually still see her eyes through it, which is great. And it kind of covers up that scuff. So maybe we'll just keep her sunnies on. All right. So, and then looking at her stand, which you guys kind of got a glimpse of, but it's completely different than a regular LOL. So of course it's wider so it can fit them, but it's also wider at the bottom so it can balance them. And it does say fierce on it. So it says LOL OMG fierce. And she comes to the black stand where her original one came with a white. So we're gonna put her up here. And now there's, their stands do come to the same height. So when we put them on there, it will be an accurate height um, comparison. Alright, so our Fierce doll is about a head about a head or so taller than our regular size dolls. So again, keep in mind they are $36, uh, dollars, $37, give or take. So it's up to you what you think is worth it. Is that extra inch and extra detail worth that for you? Um, I'm totally happy with her. 
I was not sure how I was going to feel about her at first, but now that she's out of the box, she is stunning, and um, I am so glad that the fates put Lady Diva into my hands. So, I now have my Lady Diva, which does, oh, there it is, she does come with two different waist clips. So she does come with the skinnier and the wider one, which is awesome because I feel like she needs the skinnier one, because she wants to keep sliding off of that stand there. Let's try that again. Now, size-wise, I think they may be able to share clothing. Um, they feel about the same size in body. She just has a lot more going on for legs. Um, also, like, if you look at their heads, they seem to be roughly about the same size. I would say, though, that the... It's hard to tell because of all her hair. Um... But at least it looks flatter and wider on the Fierce Dolls, I would say. So. There are those two side by side. I'm sorry for the chaos. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching my side by side video of Lady Diva and Lady Diva Fierce. Um, so. I totally think she has an amazing upgrade. I love the stunning stunning face paint that they did on her like look at that expression like that expression is so you know so expressive so stunning I just she's giving me life I love those eyes honestly if nothing else like I like most of your like that's these are the first omgs i think that have expressions i think everybody else has the exact same face mold exact same eye ex like positioning and everything so i think these are the first ones to have like facial expressions like she even has facial expressions in her eyebrow and like in her lips and everything but she still keeps that same uh beauty mark by her lips like this whole thing it's just it's stunning um I'm going to be one of those people that, like, every time they open a new doll, they go, this is my favorite, but I think she's my favorite OMG. I think that I hope that they continue the Fierce line beyond just the original four dolls. Um, I would love to see a lot of these dolls essentially, like, upgraded into this higher um, doll level. Um, she's actually, because their stand heights are almost the same she's actually a little bit taller than a rainbow high doll now um an lol is shorter than a rainbow high but a fierce doll is now taller than a rainbow high so <coughs> um let's see they're about the same height as the monster high they're actually still even Appear to be a little bit taller her stand is thinner so I think without the stands they might be about the same height here let's just Laguna come here Ugh. yeah actually the fierce doll is a tiny bit taller than even a monster high so keep that in mind for your um sizing if that's a little bit too tall for you keep that in mind too um but yeah, I think she's a stunning, stunning doll. I think she makes a great collector doll for the LOL line. Um, again, she's not labeled as a collector's doll, but I feel like that's kind of their intention. Because um, she does have that, like, in-box or out-of-box, have that, like, very collectible feel to her. So, I'm happy to have her. Um, I hope that you guys will be able to find her in your local Target soon. Um... But for now, that's going to be it for us. So we're going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you do, uh, enjoyed our little face cam at the beginning. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe so that you can find us next week. Comment down below what you think of the LOL Fierce line or what dolls you might like to see us do in the future. And we will all see you in the toy box next week. Bye!